What's up guys, Rob from Clicks Geek, and today's video I want to show you how to find high intent keywords. Alright, so when you're choosing keywords for your Google Ads campaign, there's two different types of keywords you can choose. You can choose broader, broader, like, you can choose broader keywords or you can choose higher intent keywords. Now, what do I mean by broader? So, if we're, what campaign are we in here? Uh, limousine. So, we're in our limousine demo campaign. You can see here, this, this uh, ad group has all the limo keywords in it. Now, obviously, you guys don't take this as an example of a campaign this is just a this was for another video I made so I just lumped a bunch of stuff in here but I'm going to show you the difference between high intent keywords and just broader keywords so high intent keyword so if we're trying if our client here is trying to rent limos and get people to rent their party buses limo rental is going to be what's considered a high intent keyword limo service would be a high intent keyword services what else we got here Hummer limos that's more broad Okay, that's not someone searching for a service or a rental or to fix a need immediately. This is someone just like, oh, let's search Hummer limos. Maybe I want to rent one. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just want to learn more about it. So this is a non-high intent keyword or as I just call them just broad, broad type keywords. All right, limo companies, high intent. Limo prices, high intent. Limo bus, that's more broad. That's somebody who's just looking. We don't really know the intent behind this behind this keyword. It could be several different factors. Limo prices, we know exactly what they want. They need a limo and they want to find out prices for it. So this is kind of how you see the difference between broad broad type keywords and uh, high intent. All right, so if we just keep like cruising down here, limo, limousine rentals for prom, that is high intent. Hummer limo, again, that's broad. Cheap limo. So that could be, this is broad. I would want this in the broad category because that can mean several different things. Limos to rent, extremely high intent. Limo rates, high intent. Limousine company, that's high intent. Cheap limo services, that's a, that's a high intent keyword. Limo quotes, high intent. Cheap limo service, high intent. So you kind of get what you see what I'm doing here, guys? We're just kind of running through these keywords. And I'm showing you the difference between a broader type keyword and a high intent keyword. Because when you're building your campaigns, you do not want broad, broad type keywords in your ad groups. All right. All of your ad groups need to be very tightly themed. So if I'm if I'm building out this campaign the correct way, limo rental is its own ad group with only limo rental keywords in it. High intent limo rental keywords. Now if, if I want to add up uh ad group for party bus it's going to be party bus rental is going to be the ad group and it's going to be all party bus rental keywords going to ads that talk about renting a party bus going to a landing page that shows the party buses for rent and how to call and get prices and book and blah 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 so th that's the most important thing when you're doing your keyword research is to only try and grab the high intent stuff because the broad stuff is what's going to bring you a bunch of clicks but it's going to have the lowest conversion rate and at the end of the day that's just going to drive your lead cost up which is going to you know, be a pain in the ass, and you don't want to deal with that. So the, the so when you when you do this in the keyword planner, so if you just come up here, I don't know if you guys can see this. If you come up here to the wrench and you click tools and settings, it's going to bring a drop down box. Come over here to keyword planner, and it's going to jump you right into this screen, which is the keyword planner. So if we wanted to actually find more keywords, we can go right in here. So let's do limo rentals. Let's keep going with that theme. So these every Every search you're about to see right here is what Google thinks that is what that you that you want your ad to serve for if you were bidding on limo rentals. So keep that in mind because there's going to be a lot of stuff in here that we don't want, and this is how you're going to find and build your negative keyword list too. So let's just go through these and let's just kind of call out the the high intent versus the broad. Limo service near me, high intent. Party bus hire, high intent. Limo rental near me, high intent. Prices, high intent. High intent. Okay, here's here's one. Hummer limo rental. That's high intent. Party limo. Broad. These are all pretty good. Yep, these are all these are all good. These are pretty high intent. Most of them. Wedding transportation near me. High intent. <clears throat> I'm just trying to cruise through here and just find some more broader examples for you. This is a great keyword, affordable party bus rentals. 
And guys, you can do this with any niche. It doesn't matter. You, you're going to be able to identify what is – my whole point of this video is to let you guys understand how to go through and do this yourself and decide what's what's broad type and what's high intent. All right, if, 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 I, if I can get you guys to do that, then I've done my job and you're, everyone's going to win. So 40-person party bus. This may seem like it's high intent, but that could go either way. So I wouldn't classify that as high intent. I mean, I would probably bid on it. I would probably put that in its own ad group and then talk about 40-person party buses and stuff like that and just bid really cheap on it to test it. But that's not something I would immediately classify as a high intent. Reserve party bus, high intent. Higher limousine, high intent. Yeah, these are all pretty good, but there's a ton of them. So if we keep going down, let's go to the next page. <laughs> Classic Rolls Royce rental. So even if you do have, let's just say it's, which is wild, if you do have a, a Rolls Royce limo, this is not a keyword you want to go and go after. Because this is someone trying to rent a Rolls Royce. I'm trying to sort through here and just find some more broad type. Here's a broad type 12 person limo. Cadillac limo rental. That's actually, that's high intent. If you assuming your client or you have Cadillac limos, vintage Rolls Royce rental. That's broad type. So I, you guys get the idea. I'm not going to keep going through. You when you're building your your Google Ads campaigns, it's so important that you're only really going after high intent stuff. So let's say you are a plumber, because limo might not be the best example, or or water damage. How about that? Water damage contractor is the theme of your campaign. So you you or your client is a, is a guy who comes in and fixes all the water damage from people's basements and stuff. So let's go through this. So water, water damage contractor, that's high intent. Restoration companies near me. This is, this is broad type, okay? Because what kind of restoration companies? There's a million different things for restoration. Could mean anything. That's broad intent. Water damage restoration companies, that is high intent. High intent, high intent. Mitigation companies near me, broad type. What kind of mitigation? We don't know. That's not something I would put into, into a water damage campaign. Basement flooding contractors, that's high intent. Flood repair contractors. It's a little bit of both. So this is one of those tricky ones where, like I said before, I would put that in its own ad group and a bit a little cheap on it and see how it does and see if it uh, brings affordable leads. Water extraction company near me, that's high intent. This is another brand, so this would be a great negative keyword. Serve Pro. Water mitigation contractor, high intent. All right, so you get that. Good example. Now let's try one more. Let's keep going. Let's do plumber. Come on. All right. Plumber. Plumber's near me. High intent. Emergency plumber. High intent. Plumbing services. High intent. Local plumbers. High intent. Companies. High intent. Plumbing and heating. Broad type. Stay away from it. Affordable plumbing. That could that could another one. This is could be a mix of both. You don't really know what the intent is. So what I mean by intent is I mean we we want the keywords like emergency plumber near me. This guy something happened. Okay, and he's looking for a plumber for an emergency to come out in his local area and help him solve his issue. All right, so this is this is we know for a fact that's a high intent keyword. Affordable plumbing, we don't know. We really don't what the intent is behind it. So, but it's also a great keyword. So we don't really want to get rid of it. But this is something again where I would toss this into its own ad group and just bid a little cheaper on it and see how it does. Roto rooter, it's a great negative keyword. Precision, precision. Blah, blah. Precision plumbing. <laughs> that's a that's a great negative keyword. Best plumbing. This is another one. There's not we don't really know the intent. It's own ad group. Local plumber near me. High intent. Superior plumbing. That's a negative. Plumbing repair. High intent. Master plumber. Mm, could be both. We don't know. Put it in its own ad group. A1 plumbing. That is a competitor. Negative it. 
which it seems like a lot of these are actually kitchen sink plumbing see that's that's another one too i mean kitchen sink plumbing repair services company that, that i'd say those are high intent just kitchen sink plumbing not so much all right but you guys get you guys get it so th this is what you got to do you got to come through you got to find your broad type and you got to find your high intent and you got to build your campaigns with a high intent only all right it's the best advice i could possibly give you and that you will find on youtube trust me this is how you build campaigns that win and convert at 40 percent 30 40 percent is your high intent your ads are all tightly themed with your keywords and your ad groups and they're going to a landing page that talks about what you're sending the traffic to it's just a perfect message match all the way across the marketing funnel all right so i hope i can answer some of those questions for you guys if you have any questions drop them in the comments below this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the red subscribe button at the bottom right of the screen and also check out the description i put a link in there for you guys to our one of our free ebooks for five quick hacks to increase your adwords roi